Red XT5. When I take my mother's SRX back off of its lease, it was only a two year lease. Once that car I take back, most likely I'm gonna end up buying one of these red XT5s. And it's gonna be an XT5 all wheel drive, you know, 3.6 liter. I have to say the V6 3.6 liter is probably the best engine that you can buy in these Cadillacs. And the reason why is because they allow you to use regular unleaded. You can usually use the mid grade but you're allowed to use regular unleaded with no real horsepower benefit or deficit, so that's good. And as you can see, this is the new refreshed STS. So they changed the front of this car to make it look more like the XT5. And, and if you wonder why am I stuttering or why am I stammering, it's because it's so hard to remember all these goddamn letters, you know? It, it, it's, it's ridiculous trying to remember all these stupid letters. But um, that's the new front end of this. And, and the reason why I actually like this front end more, the XT5 and now the STS have a more uh, chiseled, luxurious look to them. And I always felt that the CTS's front end looked gaudy with this, with this new chiseled design on it. I, I kind of felt it looked gaudy. Like, I felt that the STS should have had the CTS's front and the CTS should have had the XTSs. And this way, it's because it's such a smaller car, I was like, well, why the hell does it have like massive, huge lines and shit down it when it's such a smaller car? And even when you see that on the CT6, you see it right away because it flows better on a larger car when you have such a gaudy front end. And these uh, mirrors, these mirrors are uh, ro auto rotating and everything. But yeah, this is the same old, as you can see, XTS. And I'm um, glad they didn't get rid of it. It looks good. It really looks good. Oh, okay. That's nice. Now, is there a major price difference between an XT5 and an XTS? At the yeah, the XTS is a little bit more. The XTS is a little more, yeah. okay. 61665. Now, this one has, because we got the roof. And I think this, okay, this one's all-wheel drive, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I always like these as car. I, re I, I always like these more. Right. The, it's just uh, that the, um, yeah, then the crossover, it's just that the crossover had so much more back space, you know, yeah. for the, uh, the cargo. Okay. Yeah, I always like these more, but at the time, I just couldn't get the one I wanted. Gotcha. Because what it was, was I actually found one with the color. I just didn't find it with the uh, all-wheel drive system. Right. Yeah, it's nice. It's basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's good. Just, yeah, to start it up, just press the, uh, oh. just the button. Just put on the brake. Yeah. Oh, okay. They got a new dashboard. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, most of it was the, uh, the exterior. They rounded it off a little bit, you know, less, uh, less edgy. Mm -hmm. you know? And they upgraded the Q system as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, they didn't Apple put the touch pad like the CT6, though. No, no. And can you, they don't have the mirror as an option like for the CT6 mirror, right? All oh, right, correct. Right? All right. The CT6 actually has a little All the tech, it's got everything. Yeah, everything, yeah. and the uh, space, it's it's a lot Bigger. larger. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot larger. So you have the wireless charger and that. Uh, oh, it's got wireless charger? Yeah. But the majority of them, what they do is everybody with the USB, they um, plug it in, so this way they can project everything from their smartphone, you know, Apple uh, CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we go to the home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we, I'm actually surprised that they didn't change the uh, Q system because the CT6 and the XT5 have that newer no, yes. uh, thing. So I'm actually surprised they didn't, but uh, I do like, you know, they changed mm -hmm. this, and so that's pretty cool. I guess this one's a 3.6 liter V6? Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same engine. Mm -hmm. XT, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think the XT5 might actually make more sense, especially for that space. Are you a, a Costco oh, oh. member by any chance? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, awesome. And BJ's. Oh. 
right. Well, Costco, what you're going to get is a supplier discount. Uh-huh. Also, you're going to get a $700 cash card from Costco just for purchasing a vehicle. But I have to buy it through Costco? No, you get it through us. You do what, it do you just bring your Costco card? Give me your Costco card, your date of birth. I'll give you the phone number. Uh, you call up Costco. You tell them you want to participate in the Costco auto purchase program. Uh, they'll email me over an authorization and a PIN number. All right. It's pretty uh, quick and easy. You have Geico for insurance? Or? Yep. <laughs> Gets better and better and easier and easier. <laughs> hmm. What do you know? They already got the XTS rolling. So these things must have been in dealers long enough to be sold. And here's one right here. And this one has a 3.6 liter. From the looks of it, I don't see a moonroof. So this guy got kind of the base model. Because you don't have as much light coming in. See what I'm saying? I like having nice light coming in. It's like when you go into an art gallery. Having a moonroof helps it feel like a bigger, airier car. Here it comes right here. I always like the XTS, but the problem that they have is selling that when the XT5 is so much less expensive and so much more practical because of the fact that it's a crossover. So it's like not only do you get more space in the XT5 and you know you also get uh, more ground clearance and for a lot of people that's a big deal because ground clearance means that during the winter it's like it's easier for them to get in and out of snow and then on top of that gr granted it's not an off-road vehicle but because of the higher ground clearance it does have some level of off-road capability. <laughs> 